Welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how veggies could be damaging your gut. So uh, today's video is probably not a shock for those of you that have been following the carnivore diet and the carnivore diet videos. Um, but a lot of people still are focused on gut health, as they should be. Gut health is super critical. If you have autoimmune diseases, you definitely need to heal your gut. When we have damage to our gut from a number of reasons, we get inflammation in the gut. Eventually, that inflammation leads to gaps in the junctures that um, hold the lining together. And then particles of food and things can slip through and enter the bloodstream. So the body sees that as an invader and then we'll try to attack it. So this has been the start of where autoimmune disease is coming from. At least this is the belief, and I do believe it. Um, so where do we get this gut damage? There's a few places that we can get gut damage from. One, we have a strong connection to our food and the toxins that are in our food. So I'm talking about the chemical man-made toxins. So things from the environment, from farming, chemicals in farming, glyphosate, um, food additives. There's all kinds of things in the farming process of plants and vegetables, but also in processed foods. Lots of chemicals in man-made foods. Um, and those are definitely inflammatory and inflammatory for your gut. And so when your gut lining gets inflamed, then there you go. That's the beginning of this whole process. Also, regular plant foods have toxins in them. So this is, I think, what's the most overlooked about people that are eating a lot of plant foods like I was, is that plants do contain things that damage your body. So one of the uh, most common ones and most known is lectins. So lectins are in you know, tomatoes and legumes and all kinds of plants. Um, and they do damage the gut lining. Another uh, plant chemical is oxalates. Oxalates um, are crystallized and in your body they can damage the gut lining. And oxalates are very common in some of our most popular plant-based foods like spinach or chocolate or almonds. And I know tons of people, including myself, used to eat fistfuls of almonds and other nuts. Um, and, um, you know, drinking almond milk and all of that. Um, also, phytates that are very common in um, nuts and seeds. So if you're drinking nut milks like almond milk and cashew milk, these are terrible for your gut. Uh, not to mention, when you damage the gut lining with some of these foods, it is also affecting your brain. So your brain function, your mental health and well-being could very well be getting damaged simply by eating these plant foods. So we have been in a culture for many, many years about eat your veggies, and I was in that too. And I ate my veggies and then some, probably enough for my whole family and then some. But what happened was I incurred so much damage into my gut and eventually came to, you know, we found myself with ulcerative colitis, an autoimmune disease. Um, so there are some things to consider here too, other than plant food. So what kind of toxins are we exposed to? Um, those from, that we put on our skin, on our body. This is why I'm always using my essential oils for my skincare and trying to limit my cosmetics and products that I use on my hair. Um, anything that is, um, any of those toxins that you use in your, in your body or on your body, go into your bloodstream and can cause inflammation in the same way. Um, so think about that. What are you drinking? Are you drinking, you know, purified water or is it city water that maybe has some um, chemicals in there or residues from medications? All kinds of things that can be found in water. Um, and what you put on your skin, what you eat, those are all really important. What you think is also really important. So many times we're just under a lot of stress. And every time you think a stressful thought, your body responds with an increase in stress hormones which increase inflammation. So stress is a huge contributor to gut damage because of the reaction of stress hormones to inflammation, to inflamed gut, to gut damage. Um, so these are all the things that really go into make what's causing the damage to all of our bodies, um, which the link to autoimmune disease. So cutting back on plant matter, vegetables, nuts and seeds, all of those things makes a huge difference. It did for me. Um, going on the carnivore diet was pretty much what cured me of my autoimmune disease. But also, we do need to take care of our gut. 
um, limit the chemicals, limit the stress, take out the plant foods and the fiber that is doing the damage, um, but also we can take care of it. So there's a couple things that I do like, and I'm gonna list um, these products in the link below, um, Amazon links here, they do give me a percentage, but I think they're great products and I think you'll think so too. First one is a probiotic. This is actually a spore-based um, probiotic, so it makes it to the gut. It actually survives your gut environment um, and then will help to replicate. So I have found this to be extremely helpful, especially after having um, a lot of antibiotics. I had a appendicitis and an appendectomy, and then I had to have a lot of antibiotics afterwards. So I started taking probiotics because of that. Um, and this one I really like, and I noticed um, I do feel really good on it. And then I found this one um, called Biome, which I think um, you can also find this on Amazon. And this one is another kind of mixed um, um, strain pro product. And I think this is also um, really good. So these are two of my favorites as far as what you can buy online for probiotics. And then you know what? Good old fashioned bone broth. This is so easy to make. Just throw some beef bones into your crock pot with a little salt, dash of vinegar, and let it cook all day long. Um, and you want it to be kind of gelatinous at the end. Um, you can scrape off the fat if you don't want to have that much fat in it. If it has a thick layer, mine you can see doesn't. Uh, but this has got a lot of glycine in it. Glycine is basically collagen. Uh, very good for connective tissues, including the gut lining. So you can do a short fast, maybe a 24 hour fast and just consume these, or you can just, you know, have it in the morning instead of coffee and then, you, you know, make that your morning drink. Um, and it will soothe and help to heal the gut lining with all of that glycine, um, going in to help with the connective tissues. So basic stuff, super easy. But I'd love to hear your feedback on what you have used to help promote your gut health and how it's benefited you. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up.